this has become a place of healing for so many in our community. It's the Healing Garden, a space that was put together to honor those who lost their lives in the one October shooting. Well, the shooting at UNLV has hit home for a lot of us, especially of those who attended UNLV. I had the opportunity to sit down with Dina Babsky. She's a City of Las Vegas employee and also a UNLV graduate. We had a chance to talk about someone that was very dear to her that lost his life in the UNLV shooting, Dr. Cha Jan Jang, one of the professors killed. Here's a preview of our conversation. He was happy, gentle, kind, very intelligent, and just content. He talked a lot about his family, his children. He was very proud of them. His wife, he was, you know, I, my heart goes out to all of them. Uh, oh, I was just thinking about it. Um, but yeah, no, uh, it, he was a pleasure to see every day. And we want to thank Dina for taking the time to sit down with us and share her memories of Dr. Chang, also known as Jerry. We know it's a very difficult time for her and so many in our community impacted by this tragedy. And be sure to stay with us at KCLV in the coming days. You'll hear more of her interview and also we'll have continued coverage. Well, we want to do our part to help you if you or someone you know is struggling during this very difficult time for our community. You can scan this QR code and it will take you to the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center, also the number here at the bottom of your screen. It really provides a wealth of resources for support and also it started a fund to help the victims and families impacted by the UNLV shooting. Also, you can scan this QR code and it will take you to the UNLV Strong website. The university really has done a tremendous job of assembling some really great resources for those who might need it um, within the campus community and also the website here at the bottom of your screen. Reporting for KCLV, I'm Crystal Allen.